Hey, and welcome back to the Glycogen Cycling YouTube channel. Um, oh, better turn my phone off. Um, today, we're going to do another episode of Real Talk. So this will be episode two. If you haven't checked out episode one, you can in the top right corner right now. Um, I talk about, like, in that episode, what's been going on with my life and how I quit my job recently. So if you want to know more about that, you can watch that episode. And basically, these episodes are just a group ride or a ride I like to that I did and me talking about something that I want to talk about. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, you guys can learn something or you know, whatever, be entertained for 10 minutes. So yeah, these are all like shorter than 10 minutes and I just talk about something could be literally anything so if you want me to talk about something specific let me know in the comments below and i can do that for the next real talk episode so today i want to talk about what's coming next for the glycogen cycling channel so over the last month or so we've had a decent amount of new subscribers and i just want to say first off thank you uh we're up to like 190 or something so you know, compared to other YouTubers, that's not like a ton of subscribers, but if I had like a room with 190 seats in it and it was filled up and everyone was listening to me talk, that'd be real, real, I'd be freaking out. Like, that's insane, dude, that 190 people hit that button to say, hey, I want to see more of you talk about bikes and you know veganism and whatever so that's awesome and i'm you know thank you so what's next for the channel so i know recently we've been doing a lot of races and i believe i'm gonna do about one more crit um this sunday so i'll vlog that we'll have a race views for that and everything and that's just like kind of a it's not a big race it's not even a usac race it's a abr American bike racing that my team is putting on. We have this thing every year called Fall Fling. So it's like three races. I think there's like two crits and one TT. Um, but I'm gonna be doing that this Sunday. And then I believe, this is not 100% yet, but I'll be going to Iowa for the uh, Cross World Cup race. So that's in Iowa City. So I'll be vlogging all of that. It's about two days long. I still have to build up my cross bike again because right now it's literally destroyed. Like needs new wheels, needs new chain. It needs it needs everything. <laughs> so I have to, you know, decide if I'm gonna try to sell that and buy a new bike within the next two weeks, or if I'm going to just try to fix that one since I'm only gonna be doing like one cross race this year. Um, and that one's fine. So, I don't know, stay tuned for that. I think that's the weekend of, if I can pull it up quick, calendar. Calendar coming up. I think that's the 29th and the 30th. So like the last weekend of September. So that's in, you know, a week from Saturday, basically. So that's going to be real exciting if I do that, because that's going to be, that's one of the biggest races on the cross calendar. So stay tuned for that, as I said already. And after that, we are going to be, or I'm going to be going to, I guess you guys are coming with me, basically, uh, Florida for about a month or so, a little over a month. I found an Airbnb, it's pretty cheap. And actually the person hasn't emailed me back yet, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna be going there and I'm gonna try to do, or I'm going to do a 24 hour ride. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna start building up, you know, more like higher mileage rides. So, like the weekends I'll be doing at least a hundred miles both days. And during the week, try to do at least 60 every day. So good, like 450, maybe 500 mile weeks. If 
I can. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But try, just trying to build up the endurance because I'm going to try to do this 24-hour ride, and I'm going for 400 miles. So I'm going to be staying in the Fort Myers area. And if anyone watching is from there for whatever reason or the area, let me know. We can definitely go for a ride. Uh, but basically, I'm going to be riding from Fort Myers, which is on the Gulf side of Florida. And I'm going to ride to Miami Beach, which is on the Atlantic side. And then I'm going to go up the beach for 20 miles or so. And then cross back over. There's a giant lake in the middle of Florida. I forget what it's called. But I'm going to ride around that lake and then back to Fort Myers. So it's around 400 miles which the average speed I have to hold is 16 and a half, which is doable, not too bad, as long as the wind isn't terrible. Um, but, you know, Florida, so it's like 20 feet of elevation gain, like it's, it's flat, it's a pancake. So I can definitely hold that speed. The, the trick is with these long endurance events is you just cannot, you have to limit the time you're stopped. So, yeah, you know, you can't stop to um, eat a lot or, you know, take pictures or whatever. You just have to keep going. Um, even if you're going, like, under the speed, like, say you're only going, like, 15 miles per hour, it's better than going zero. So I have a little bit of experience with this with Eversting. The first one I did, I, you know took me like I think 16 hours something like that um, but that was a lot faster than the second time I did it because the second time we had a couple other guys and a girl and or a woman I should say uh, and we were just stopping a lot we stopped to, for lunch and we just we had like a couple hours, maybe like one or two hours where we were just off the bike, not riding. And that really adds up. So at like two in the morning when we're still riding and have like 2000 feet left, it's kind of, kind of rough. So you basically just want to keep going as hard as you, I mean, as long as you, you don't want to stop basically is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's going to be an exciting thing coming up. I'm thinking about doing it end of October, early November. So, you know, stay tuned to the channel. Tell your friends, tell them to subscribe so you don't miss that. Because I want to make an epic video. It's going to be, it's going to be sweet. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, let me know in the comments below what the furthest ride you've done in one day is. Uh, I think 400 miles is a good goal. Um, but... Let me know if that's like way too more, too little, and I should do like 18 mile per hour average. No, 400 miles is what I'm shooting for um, in 24 hours, as I said. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and again, I'm gonna be in Florida for like a month, so I'll be vlogging a lot down there. And I'm vlogging today, actually. Should be vlogging right now that I'm doing this, but forgot. Anyways. Sorry, that was just me rambling a lot and not making a whole lot of sense, but hopefully you guys got something out of this. And again, thank you if you're, you've are you subscribed. Thanks if you've, if you've been here from the beginning. Really, really, really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. And thanks for watching this Real Talk episode two. See ya.